If you've ever tackled a renovation, you know that every day in the life of a renovation is an adventure. Add the remoteness of tackling that renovation on an island and it takes it to another level. And then let's just top it up. Let's just make the cherry on top, the icing on that cake be mother nature. Today, look what we got. Dense fog. I'm Sarah, and every day my life revolves around design. This is my journal of what's happening right now in my world as a creator, an entrepreneur, a partner, and a mom. And I'm sharing it with you. So let's go. Today is another chapter in my design life. Today is fireplace installation day. That's amazing. It is now 9.30. I was supposed to be pulling back up at the dock here right now with the guys in the fireplace. But at seven o'clock this morning, I had to write them and say, hey guys, guess what? <laughs> I can't get off the island. I cannot drive through pea soup fog and I can't come and get you. So we're now a good hour and a half behind on that schedule. And the crew is waiting in town to hear whether or not this fog lifts enough to drive. As long as we're waiting for this fog to lift, we might as well try a little lifting in the bathroom. Oh, that's not good. That silicone sure holds well. I really glued that thing on. You might oh, pull that. there's a fire going. Oh, it's ripping down. Yeah. You know what I'm envisioning here? Just a marble wall. Yeah. A mirror that goes right to the vanity. I had this great idea to take out our old vanity and put in this really pretty new one because it has better storage and it's a bit more contemporary. And the other one was, was just a little garden stand that I found way back and it was super inexpensive and it was fine, but I wanted better storage. So brilliant me thought I'd buy this gorgeous unit that comes with a counter, with a sink. And how's our little vanity project going, Chris? Well, the vanity removal went quite well. Yeah, and uh, now? Well, now we have a backsplash issue. We have a backsplash that won't let go. The backsplash is determined to stay, and the problem is that we can't just leave this backsplash because the new counter is white, the old backsplash is a little bit creamier. It's stuck on the wall, and now what's happened? Somebody's too strong and... And the board split. The <laughs> so right. this was a great idea and now it's an idea that's showing some cracks. Okay. So now what guys? We're going to use uh, brute force. And brute force. My, my favorite words. Okay. Or we could have just left it the way it was. Oh sh- <laughs> It was pretty nice before. Who asked you? So it's just one line of silicone it looks like right through the middle. Yeah. So. If you want to just push down on both, okay. I will hit this uh -huh. away. I don't think this is gonna hold on. Hold on. This feels like this feels like an episode of really bad ideas. I feel like if I push down hard enough, what's gonna happen is that's gonna pop off and it's gonna whack you in the head. And I really need you here and present. And I think that is a clear and present danger. I have pretty good reflexes. Do you? What if we did one side at a time? Okay. I, I hear it. Oh god, well we've now wrecked the wall. I can just hear Alex now. He's like, why didn't you just leave it alone? What was wrong with the vanity? Or we could have just left it the way it was. I know. I can hear all you watching. All you people watching are like, I like that vanity, what are you doing? <sighs> but you did get rid of that storage. You did need more storage. The dog is like, what is going on? This is so stupid. This is what always happens. Every, like, don't you feel like every good idea has some massive thing that just makes it... <sighs> well, you're probably going to come up with a better idea from this. You think? You're so yeah. nice. See, this is why I love Chris. Cause I, I, like, I'm feeling bad right now and he's telling me everything's gonna be okay, Sarah. I've been around you long enough, long enough to 
know that between everybody we'll come up with we're a gonna come idea. up with a better yeah. idea hit it yeah oh no i thought i'd leave that one <laughs> kidding Off to pick up a fireplace. First boat ride of the season, and it's foggy. <laughs> awesome. And now that the weather's all clear, we are good to go for Operation Fireplace install. How much does this weigh? I think it's 473. Yikes! Okay, well I didn't breathe for a good 10 seconds there, but I'm impressed. It's here. We made it. And the fog's rolling back in again. It's crazy day. When it comes to natural heat, you may have noticed I'm a big fan of wood stoves for their ability to heat efficiently and effectively. And for this project, I found a cool new option. It's compact and contemporary. What we wanted to do is we wanted to install a wood stove solution here that'll help us get heat when we need it, mm -hmm. but also be super efficient. And what I liked is that this is actually, this is sort of like a wall mount unit, right? Yep. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's a, it's tinier and takes up less depth right. than like a freestanding stove does. Right. And with your hearth, you can drop it to the floor, so it gives you a flush face with the hearth, even with the floor, and you don't have to have a tripping hazard or anything. So, especially when you're doing it like this way, where you've got a walkway at the door, right, going past, right, it works. So you don't want something raised up as people walk across. So. Right. All so in terms of the height that you think this should be, so I was toying around with, you know, how high up the wall could it go, should it go? What's the sort of sweet spot of what you have decided in terms of the proposed um, One height? thing we were generally fairly cautious of is if you, if you bring a stove up too high in a wall, when yeah. you're sitting, you're actually looking into the top of the stove. They made the fireboxes pretty, Right look inside, yeah. but they didn't make the top of the stove so Oh! Cool. Right? So you get to see the baffle and that type of stuff, right? So I never would have thought of that. Yeah, so it's something you really don't want. You want to see the fire, you don't want to look at the top of the stove. So And you miss the, the inside of the, the top. The inside of it, yeah. Yeah, so. That is why you are here. <laughs> to keep me from going astray. Okay, great. All right. We started with fog, we had to wait for it to clear, and check this out. Our fireplace is installed. So this is a Pacific Energy wood stove, and I am super excited about this unit because it is compact, and we can trim around this and make it look really sleek. I love the way the door opens. I'm really kind of, I call this the microwave. Don't put your popcorn in it. Last step is to figure out our final trim plan for how we are going to basically encase the fireplace. What I'm thinking is slabs of stone. So we can do a big slab at the top, two small pieces along the side, another slab across the bottom, and then a full slab here on the side so it'll look really sleek and contemporary. And then we have a double, sort of like a wardrobe, nice tall storage cabinet going here that's 39 inches wide. So we are tight in here. The doors on this will be white. So the next step is when we think about cladding this, should it be white, like white Caesar stone, white quartz, or should it be something marbled and veiny that feels a bit more natural? Sleek and almost hidden, or something more dramatic? Thoughts? A or B? What do you think? And while you decide how we should deal with the fireplace, Alex and Chris are getting ready for a different kind of fire here on Sarah's Island. <laughs> 